Inside your lungs are branching airways made of stretchy tissue. Each airway is wrapped with bands of muscle that help keep it open. The airways get smaller, the farther they go into the lungs. The smallest airways end in clusters of tiny balloon like air sacs or alveoli. These clusters are surrounded by blood vessels. When you breathe in, air enters the lungs, it travels down the airways until it reaches the air sacs. When you breathe out, air travels up the airways and out of the lungs. The air you breathe in contains oxygen, which your body needs. When the air reaches the air sacs, oxygen passes into the blood vessels. Oxygen-rich blood is then carried to all parts of your body, as your body uses oxygen, carbon dioxide is made. Carbon dioxide is a waste product, then the blood it carries goes back to the lungs. Finally, when you breathe out, carbon dioxide leaves your body. With COPD, air doesn't flow normally, and it becomes harder to breathe. Chronic bronchitis and emphysema are two common types of COPD, most people have both. With chronic bronchitis, damaged airways make more mucus than normal. Mucus builds up and narrows the airways. The lining of the airways becomes inflamed or swollen, and the airways narrow even more, and less air is able to travel in and out of the lungs. With emphysema, damaged airways lose their stretchiness and become floppy. The airways may collapse when you breathe out. This traps stale air in the air sacs, making it harder to breathe. Over time, the air sacs lose their shape and less oxygen enters the blood vessels. Airways are lined with mucus and tiny hairs called cilia. The mucus traps dust, smoke, and other particles as you breathe in, then the cilia sweep the mucus up the airways to the throat, where it can be coughed out. This process keeps the airways clean and helps to prevent infection. Smoking damages the cilia that line the airways. So they can't sweep the mucus and particles away, and damaged cilia worsen the problems caused by COPD. Here are the most common symptoms of COPD. A feeling of being out of breath, particularly when you are active. Having a persistent chesty cough with phlegm, some may dismiss this as smoker's cough. Chronic chest infections, and persistent wheezing. Symptoms tend to worsen without treatment. An exacerbation or flare-up can also occur when symptoms suddenly worsen, which is called acute exacerbation of COPD and should be treated as an emergency. Stages of COPD. There are various grading systems, one of which is part of the gold classification. The gold classification is used to determine the severity of COPD and to help establish a prognosis and treatment strategy. Based on spirometry testing, there are four gold grades. Grade 1 is mild, grade 2 moderate, grade 3 is severe, and lastly, grade 4 is extremely severe. You can calculate this based on your spirometer results or FEV1, that is forced expiratory volume within one second. This is the amount of air you can forcefully expel from your lungs in one second. As your FEV1 falls, the severity rises, or as the FEV1 increasing, you are getting better. It is very useful to determine which grade you are in and plan the treatment accordingly. The gold classification also considers your specific symptoms and history of acute exacerbations. Your doctor can assign you a letter group based on this information to help identify your COPD grade. You become more vulnerable to problems as the condition worsens, such as respiratory infections, including common colds, flu, and pneumonia, heart problems, high blood pressure in the arteries of the lungs or pulmonary hypertension, cancer of the lungs, anxiety, and depression. The treatment is determined by the type of COPD and the grade you are in. In the next video, we will talk about the diagnosis and treatment options for COPD and will discuss the lung sounds in patients with COPD. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and support us to learn more, thank you.